Scientists are warning us about a catastrophic new wave of earthquakes that are caused by a gigantic hole in the ocean floor. Scientists have issued a chilling warning concerning an enormous tear in the Earth's crust located in the Banda Sea, which they believe could set off a wave of cataclysmic earthquakes and volcanic eruptions across the infamous Pacific Ring of Fire. Scientists have discovered a huge tear in the Earth's crust. The tear is described as measuring approximately 60,000 square kilometers and is around 7 kilometers deep, making it around the same size as the Australian island of Tanzania. Scientists claim that the tear was caused by a process called subduction, which involves the movement of one tectonic plate beneath another. This causes one tectonic plate to move downwards and become submerged in the magma underneath the Earth's crust. This tear could be a cause for concern in and of itself, but scientists are particularly worried because the Banda Sea lies with the Pacific Ring of Fire, the most active seismic area in the entire world. The frequent earthquakes that occur within proximity to the tear could lead to incredibly violent tremors and could affect the entire enormous region that lies on this infamous fault line. In recent years, this region has experienced a phenomenal upsurge in its seismic activity. More than 100 people were killed, 84,000 people were left homeless following a quake measuring 6.5 on the Richter scale, 6.5 magnitude in Western Indonesia earlier this month. This catastrophic event came hot on the heels of a powerful earthquake in the disaster prone area of Fukushima in November, and Australia recently experienced its largest earthquake in decades. It's feared that factors relating to the Earth's magnetic poles and the enormous tear in the Banda Sea could only intensify the frequency of incidents such as these. The probability of the intensity of natural disasters in such a vast area of the world is already deeply concerning, but this is only part of the problem. Another major cause for concern is the presence of a nuclear power station and many nuclear power stations all along this fault line. The tsunami that struck the Fukushima Daiichi power plant may well give scientists and engineers and policymakers an example of what might be to come if the region experiences more frequent and unprecedented intense earthquakes. The plant at Fukushima was not built to withstand an earthquake measuring more than 7.9 on the Richter scale and it was flooded by the quake that struck the area, which measured a 9.0 magnitude. The plant has still not been properly repaired, and the international researchers are convinced that the damaged equipment is hemorrhaging radioactive waste into the Pacific Ocean even up to today. And it's not being stopped. Californians have particularly caused to worry about the eventuality of irreparable nuclear disasters caused by natural disasters, the state has two nuclear reactors lying right in the danger zone of San Onofre and Diablo Canyon, both of which were built to withstand much weaker earthquakes than Fukushima. Into the abyss, the huge 60,000 square kilometer hole in the ocean floor near Australia is what could cause the catastrophic earthquakes and tsunamis. The Banda Detachment Fault, located in eastern Indonesia, just north of Australia. It's part of the Ring of Fire, known for the earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, which are now taking place. It's been dislodged, from what we understand, from the two huge Mexico earthquakes and the two 5.6-5.8 earthquakes off California. The abyss is seven kilometers deep and is bigger than Tasmania. The discovery could lead to a breakthrough in tsunami prediction for the area. The huge tear in the ocean floor, north of Australia, 
could cause a catastrophic natural disasters, Daily Mail reports. The terrifying abyss is known as the Banda Detachment, measuring about 60,000 square kilometers, 7 kilometers deep. Geologists have for the first time seen and documented the Banda Detachment fault in eastern Indonesia and worked out how it formed. It could lead to a breakthrough in tsunami prediction for the area, which is part of the Ring of Fire, an area around the Pacific Ocean Basin known for its earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Lead researcher Dr. Jonathan Ponal of the Australian National University, ANU, said the find will help researchers assess dangers of future tsunamis in the area. He said the abyss has been known for 90 years now, but until now no one has been able to explain how it got to be so deep. The fault, this fault of the banded detachment represents a rip in the ocean floor exposing over 60,000 square kilometers. He says, our research, research found that a seven kilometer deep abyss beneath the Banda Sea off eastern Indonesia was formed by extension along what might be Earth's largest identified exposed fault plain. By an analyzing high resolution maps of the Banda Sea floor, geologists from ANU and Royal Holloway University of London found the rocks flooring the sea are cut by hundreds of straight parallel scars. These wounds show that a piece of crust bigger than Belgium or Tanzania must have been ripped apart by 120 kilometers of extension along a, a low angle crack or a detachment fault to form the present day ocean floor depression. Geologists have the first time seen and documented the banded detachment fault in eastern Indonesia worked out how it formed. Dr. Ponal said this fault of the banded detachment represents a rip in the ocean floor exposed over 60,000 square kilometers. The discovery will help explain how one of the Earth's deepest seas, the sea areas, became so deep. Professor Gordon Lister, also from the ANU Research School of Earth Sciences, said this was the first time the fault has been seen and documented by researchers. Tectonic plates, as we know, are composed of Earth's crust and are the uppermost portion of the, of the Earth's mantle. Below is the asthenosphere, which is a warm, vicious conveyor belt of rock on which the tectonic plates ride. They float on this upper uh, portion of the, um, uh, the asthenosphere, the warm, vicious, uh, fluid conveyor belt of rock. Earthquakes typically occur at the boundaries of the tectonic plates, where one plate dips below another, thrusts another upwards, or where plate edges scrape alongside each other. Earthquakes rarely occur in the middle of plates, but they can happen when ancient faults or rifts far below the surface reactivate. These areas are relatively weak compared to the surrounding plate and can easily slip and cause an earthquake. Professor Lister says, we had made a good argument for the existence of this fault we named the Banda Detachment based on the bathymetry data and on knowledge of the regional geology. Dr. Powell said he was on boat journey, on a boat journey in eastern Indonesia in July when he noticed the prominent landforms consisting with surface extensions of the fault line. He said that he was stunned to see the hypothesized fault plane this time not on a computer screen, but poking above the waves. This is what Dr. Ponal describes. He said the rocks immediately below the fault include those brought up from the mantle. He said, this demonstrates the extreme amount of extension that must have taken place as the ocean, the crust of the ocean was thinned in some places to zero. Dr. Ponal also said the discovery of the banded detachment fault would help assess dangers of future tsunamis and earthquakes. He said in a region of extremely extreme tsunami risk, knowledge of major faults such as the banded detachment, which could make big earthquakes when they slip, is fundamental to being able to properly assess tectonic hazards. Well, you can assess them, but you cannot stop them. This is on the Daily Mail.